The aperture value given to a lens is not a constant, universal value across all lenses. In optical design and lens manufacturing, the aperture value is actually a literal fraction of the focal length. A 50mm f2 lens, for example, has an aperture opening of 25mm. The 25mm aperture opening is one half of the 50mm focal length. So, that one half is written as 1 to 2 on the lens, which is also written and referred to as f2. A 50mm f2 lens has an aperture opening of 25mm, while a 100mm f2 lens has an aperture opening of 50mm. As you can see, despite both lenses having an f2 aperture, the apertures are not the same. The size of the aperture opening of a lens determines how much light can enter the lens in a given period of time. A larger aperture opening results in more light entering in a given time, which means that a shorter exposure time can be utilized. The size of the aperture opening when paired with the focal distance results in the effective depth of field. If the aperture opening remains constant, then a shorter focus distance results in a shallower depth of field while a longer focus distance results in a deeper depth of field. If the focus distance remains constant, then a larger aperture results in a shallower depth of field, while a smaller aperture results in a deeper depth of field. A smaller sensor captures less of the image projected by a lens. So, where a 50mm lens on a full-frame camera gives a field of view of 46.8 degrees horizontally, on a micro four-thirds camera, it would give a field of view of 23.4 degrees horizontally. This is the equivalent of using a 100mm lens on a full-frame camera, which is why micro four-thirds cameras are said to have a 2x crop factor. In real-world use, this doubling of the effective focal length results in a doubling of the distance to your subject. Practically speaking, the longer the focal length, the further you must be from the subject. If using a 50mm f2 lens on a micro four-thirds camera, you still have the same aperture opening of 25mm, but your focus distance is doubled, which increases the depth of field. It is the equivalent of using a 100mm f4 lens, which also has a 25mm aperture opening. A 25mm aperture opening focused at 2 meters will result in a 19cm depth of field. The same 25mm aperture opening focused at 4 meters will result in a 38cm depth of field, or double the depth of field. So, if we have a 50mm f2 lens on a full frame camera, Focusing on a subject 2 meters away, this results in a 19 centimeter depth of field. A 50 millimeter f2 lens on a micro four thirds camera, though, would result in a field of view equivalent to 100 millimeters, which would require the same 4 meter focus distance as a 100 millimeter lens, and would result in the same 38 centimeter depth of field. Since a 50 millimeter f2 lens and a 100 millimeter f4 lens both have a 25 millimeter maximum aperture opening, they let in the same amount of light, regardless of sensor size. Put simply, a 50 millimeter f2 lens being used on a micro four thirds camera will result in the exact same field of view, depth of field, and light gathering capabilities as a 100 millimeter f4 lens being used on a full frame camera. Many people mistakenly assume that crop factor is only applied to the field of view, but nothing else. This results in the assertion that a 35mm f1.4 lens, when used on a micro four thirds camera, becomes a 70mm f1.4. This is not the case. A 35mm f1.4 lens has an aperture opening of 25mm which determines the light gathering capabilities and the depth of field at various distances. A 70mm f1.4 lens would have an aperture opening of 50mm, 
which would drastically increase the light gathering capabilities as well as drastically reduce the depth of field at a given focus distance. These are properties directly tied to the physical diameter of the aperture opening of a lens. This is a physical and unchanging property of a lens that is not somehow changed based on the sensor size. Those who assert that a 35mm f1.4 lens becomes a 70mm f1.4 lens on a micro four thirds camera are simply confused and misinformed. Anyone who believes that the crop factor of a smaller sensor is applied only to the focal length while disregarding all other aspects of the lens and how it is used are demonstrating a lack of understanding of both lens design and optical physics. A 20mm f1.7 lens used on a micro four thirds camera really is equivalent of using a 40mm f3.4 lens on a full frame camera in every regard. Physical aperture size, light gathering ability, distance to subject, depth of field, etc.